Welcome back guys. Um, sorry I don't have my little tripod here, but I'm just going to try and shoot this by hand. I'm just printing another one of my uh, voice favorite star rings here, but I'm using some of that blue PLA Plus from Rigid Ink. Um, now I'm just going to show you quite quickly there. It says 235 to 255. The problem is Fabricator Mini, I don't know if this will focus there. I'm printing it at 220 because 230 is the hard um, cutoff for the heat. So we will see if that works. It seems to be printing fine. Went down a little bit uh, strange on the first layer on the bed, but other than that, we'll have a look when it's done here. But uh, it seems to be okay so far. We'll know how the layers stick. But uh, looks good get back to you when we uh, get that printed. Okay, we're a little bit further along here. The uh, print is getting near the top, so I thought I'd just record that. And uh, you can see here, it ran that support up the middle. Um, doing this as a voiceover, so I've already seen the outcome of this, so I'm just going to say here, I still have to increase the air gap. It was printed at 0.2, um, and... The one thing I have to say about Rigid PLA's, uh, Rigid Ink's PLA, um, so far the regular PLA, that gold stuff, and then this PLA Plus, is that uh, the layer bonding is insane. Um, you really got to watch your supports. They need quite a good, uh, quite a good gap, some cool down to allow the support to be just a support. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain to break away. Um, now that's also a function of how this design is, that that uh, support in there is actually pretty solid, so you do have to bust it out from the middle. But uh, yeah, um, that's the one downside. Uh, this printed pretty darn good. Now the instructions say you're supposed to print it at like 235 to 240, but the Fabricator Minis cap out at 230. Like they will hard limit and go into protect mode. So you have to uh, stop that error by printing at like 220, knowing that it, you know, might drift up a bit. In fact, I think I might try printing it at 225 because my uh, fabricator mini holds its temperature within about a, about a degree, so I could probably push it pretty close. But um, it came out really pretty good. Um, the one thing, uh, the brim also uh, suffers for some pretty strong adhesion to the bottom of the part because I printed it just with a brim for a very smooth bottom and it's uh, it sticks way too much like uh, it's probably just a gap I'm gonna have to check a gap on that but it's you can only uh, it's only easy to clean it with a knife so it's not a problem there but anyhow this is gonna finish up in a in a minute here and uh, one of the things that uh, while well, it's pausing here, I didn't realize how long this part is. I'm just getting my steel tweezers. So I'm going to show you how easy uh, using just a thin film of glue stick on top of Kapton tape works. I just uh, apply a bit of glue stick and then I wipe it over with a wet uh, cloth until it's evenly spread across the whole surface of the Kapton tape, which gives it a very dull, uh, very matte finish. And that's what the PLA sticks to pretty well. And then uh, once the uh, part is cooled, so as you can imagine, it's pretty cool now. I mean, it just prints, so actually it's still pretty warm. But uh, once you get a little bit of the edge of the brim lifted up, it doesn't take too much to make it pop off. In fact, it's going to pop off here in a, in a couple seconds. And you'll see how easy it comes. There, that's it. That's all. Um, it's been a pretty good upgrade moving to the, uh, the two pieces of copper clad uh, circuit board. Um, I went with the FR4 because it's fiberglass and it's a little bit stiffer and uh, it was easy to shape and uh, here I'm just going to spin it around and show how smooth the sides are and uh, how smooth the bottom is, like that's pretty darn good finish and then I'm going to, uh, off camera, I'm going to smooth that out or sorry, I'll remove the uh, brim and the uh, support in the ring I'll do that off camera and uh, there you go it's uh, cleaned up pretty good you can see sort of in the ring where I had a bit of a time 
and could probably come back with a hot iron or a little bit more of a, a round file and file that down. But for the most part, it came out pretty good. And uh, the actual star portions are very smooth. I had to take a pretty sharp knife and just remove that brim around the bottom. But right there, you can just see the scars from where the uh, bottom of the support kind of sagged in and, and um, kind of left a mark. And I guess a little bit of fine sanding would make that go away. But overall, uh, surface finish of this uh, PLA, and again, that's the blue PLA Plus from Rigid Ink. It's, it's strong. Like uh, when I was using some of my other PLAs, I'd had to come back and reheat that ring portion because the, uh, the layers um, weren't very thick. Anyhow, thanks for watching.